Diving right in, let's answer the first question, and that is, what exactly is Palea? Well, Palea is a massively multiplayer community simulation game set in a brand new high fantasy world, basically called Palea, with elements of open world adventure games. The game is very heavily inspired by other simulation games, things like Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, and even The Sims. It's very much a cozy, welcoming world for fans of community simulation genre games. It's a very cozy game that is all centered around hanging out with your friends, building a community, and going on awesome adventures, all essentially designed for you to build the life that you aspire. And I can honestly tell you it is not the NPCs that are the only thing that are cozy and welcoming in the game. It actually is all of the real in-game players that just really make this community come alive. Now, in addition to the backstory and your entire adventure story that you will experience via the game, there's actually a lot of other things that you can participate in. Everything from casting a line and the rivers and rakes throughout Palea for fishing, to then chopping down trees and exploring the wilderness, to then hunting down and chasing food in order to maintain your focus bar, to then breaking down stones and nodes for precious ores and materials for your crafting, to sneaking up and catching a variety of bugs, including some rare ones, not only by yourself but with your friends, slicing and dicing your way through a dozens of different recipes, to crafting and decorating your own home and furniture to create the perfect space for you, or last but not least, tending your garden to grow tomatoes, carrots, apples, and much more. You name it, when it comes to the variety of different gameplay mechanics, Palea has a ton to offer, and all of these things you can actually adventure through solo, or you can do it with other your friends. Now, I've said it before, but I really want to reiterate that Palea is a community simulation game. It is really all about building, you know, close friends, not only with real-life players, but also the NPCs in the game, and then basically developing those those friendships into much larger communities. Not only that, it is really all about joining up with people to take on these individual adventures, no matter which adventure you decide to take on at any given moment. However, though, don't let that discourage you if you are a solo player. Palea does have the ability to be completely played solo where you don't even have to team up or talk to any other people, although it is very advised that you do so because the game, in my opinion, is much more fun when you have more people. And speaking of people, that brings us to the next next section, basically the people of Palea. Not only will you be able to run into other real life players in the game playing alongside you, also doing all of similar things and similar activities, but you're also going to run into a handful of NPCs. Now, I'm not going to go into depth in this video talking about every single NPC, who does what in each person's backstory, but I do highly recommend that you visit the website and you can read some of the backstories for yourself prior to the game's official launch, so you kind of go into it having a general understanding of who each person is at least at the current state of the game as they have mentioned with new updates and everything we should be seeing new NPCs being added into the game now when it comes to interacting with these NPCs each NPC has their own set of dialogue all of the dialogue will be different according to where you're at in your friendship level with that individual character some of the decisions that you choose early on will change the outcome or at least you know change the path that you take for your progression towards that friendship but overall you can obviously always progress the friendship via talk Talking to each individual NPC. Not only that, on top of being able to talk to them and you know listen to what they have to say, you also have the ability to actually gift items to individual NPCs. In doing so, this can actually sometimes propel your friendship further beyond friendship and actually romancing an individual NPC. Now, at the current state of the game, they did mention that not every single NPC can be romanceable, and they are actually going to be keeping it a secret on which ones you can actually romance until you obviously dive into the game to discover it for yourself. Self. Now, I want to state a couple of things. One, if you do not care for the relationship aspect of these games, it's not a big deal. It's not a problem. It is not required. You do not have to ever dive into romancing any of these NPCs. You can strictly keep it at a friendship level for the entire playthrough of Palea and beyond. The developers really want to make sure that every single player understands that they do not like and will never force players into doing any certain type of content that they would rather just not do. So this romancing option is 100% optional, but just note that if you do fancy that sort of gameplay, you do have that option. It's just going to be up to you to determine which characters you can actually romance and which ones you can't. The second thing I want to talk about here is that the full-on dialogue of each individual NPC is actually quite vast, and it's actually really interesting backstories, and you not only get to know the backstory behind that character by talking more and more and more to that NPC, but it also 
unlocks additional dialogue the further your friendship is and it really allows you to fully understand that character's personality and what exactly makes that character tick it's actually really awesome now diving into the next section and this brings us into your customization options in paleo one of the biggest things that i absolutely love about the game and that is the full-on customization options especially when it comes to your home plot as you can see here in this trailer footage essentially you can design your entire plot the way that you want everything from placing individual buildings to literally full-on crafting all the decorations and furniture with inside of that building everything from placing a fur rug a table wherever you desire a picture frame on the wall to a wardrobe in the corner or to a bed placed outside in your garden you name it you can absolutely achieve it because again here with Palea, it is very very customizable and it's very unique in the aspects that players can really design whatever they fancy the building and customizing mechanic inside of Palea is honestly my personal favorite not only do I just love the idea of building your own home plot but I just love the idea of being able to craft it and manifest it in whatever way you desire and then being able to show that off with your friends you can literally invite I believe up to 25 people currently to your plot at one time they can all be hanging out you could do a massive housewarming party you could be all gardening together you name it you can absolutely do it and I really really love this about Palea and additionally here all of these items can be handcrafted in the game by, by farming resources they are not going to be locked behind any sort of paywall or any microtransactions and speaking of microtransactions that brings us into the next section that I want to talk about and that is if Palea is going to be launching 100% free to play for the Windows PC and for the Nintendo Switch how exactly do they aim to make money and that simply breaks down to cosmetics and no not cosmetics as in like certain skins for your items in the game or certain recipes that you can craft for your house but actually cosmetics for your individual character when it comes to the cosmetics in the game things like individual hats individual shirts individual suits individual boots you name it all of the cosmetics that you can actually uh, ornate and decorate your character with all are going to be part of a cosmetic paid shop obviously there's going to be a couple of items by default that every single player will be able to pick and choose from as soon as they load it into the game but outside of that though there is a in-game store that if you want a specific outfit or you're going for a specific fantasy look or you want a specific thing that they're that they dropped that was just brand new to the store you name it if you want that look you do have to buy an in-game currency utilizing real money but outside of those individual cosmetics so far the game does not have any other microtransactions that can be purchased and also it does not affect any of your gameplay as you cannot buy any sort of power inside of Palea. and now i know this is always an awkward topic to have and discuss when we mention a free-to-play game and a monetization plan however though developers have assured us that they do not have any plans to introduce anything in the game that it will be altering the gameplay mechanics or locking content behind any sort of paywall they literally have said over and over again that all of the mechanics in the game now and in the future coming out will be for every free to play player no matter what they did mention here though that if you are looking to collect specific skins for your individual characters attire well then those will be locked behind a paywall but outside of that though the core mechanics of the game and any future mechanics coming to the game will 100% be free and now officially wrapping up the video let's talk about when you can get your hands on Palea. starting here on August 2nd is going to be the official launch of the closed beta in order for you guys to get access to the closed beta or at least a chance to gain access because unfortunately it's not guaranteed and they are only taking a handful of people that obviously apply but overall in order for you guys to do that you have to head over to palea.com and create an account and then obviously register in however like I said though it is not guaranteed if you guys wait until August 10th though that is when the official open beta starts and everybody can jump in and play the game and from the open beta to the official global launch of the game there is absolutely no wipe so anybody that jumps in and starts playing on august 10th or even august 2nd if you happen to get in and get lucky then all of your progress will remain through the entirety of the game and that my friends is everything you need to know currently about palea at the moment obviously as we get into the game and get to do more testing i'll be pumping out more videos going more in depth on individual game mechanics tips and tricks how to's guides you name it you'll find it all here on the channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe here on the channel for everything paleo related and as always guys i'll see you 
on the next one.